Hey, good afternoon, Falcon Ridge Band. Uh, this is Mr. Bentz, and today I am going to show you uh, how to complete a smart music assignment. Um, this is the second video in a series of three videos, so if you've already watched the first video and learned how to sign up for smart music, um, you're ready to do an assignment. So if you look at my screen here, uh, I've already logged into smart music using my uh, school email and uh, the password that I set up. And then after I logged in, I clicked the home button and that brought me to this assignment list. Now, the first time you do this, you might panic because you'll see 20 different songs listed on the page and you'll think to yourself, gosh, I have to record 20 songs? That's crazy. Uh, you do not. Um, for each grade, I uh, selected 20 songs of varying difficulty uh, knowing that you only need to choose one to do uh, for your first assignment and then you can choose to do others further down the road and that you should choose an assignment that fits uh, kind of where you're at in your lessons. So um, in this example, this is uh, for a sixth grade class and sixth graders, I have assigned songs for you from the second half of the Tradition of Excellence book, uh, which is the red book that you used in fifth grade. And I would choose songs from this book if you are still in the yellow book in your lessons at school. Uh, if you've moved on from the yellow book and are in uh, book two in your lessons, then I would choose songs from Tradition of Excellence book two. See how that works? Uh, generally speaking, um, in each book, the higher the number, the more challenging the song. So if I was just starting book two, I would choose like number three or number six. Uh, seventh graders, you are given a selection of 20 songs spanning all of Tradition of Excellence book two. And so depending on where you're at in your lesson, I would choose a, a high number if you're far ahead in your lesson book or a low number if you're not. Um, and then eighth graders, uh, I also included some songs from Tradition of Excellence book three. So those of you who are in the third lesson book, that student instrumental course read book, uh, you can choose some of those. So for today's demonstration, I'm going to choose Minka Minka because it's a fun, it's a fun sounding title. And so you select start and you choose your instrument. Today I'm playing trumpet. So I will choose trumpet. Say, okay, I am ready to practice. And it'll take a little while to load, no worries. Um, you can ignore this. I don't actually give you any instructions. Um, so then you see the music. Um, and uh, you're ready to start playing. So you might um, just play through the song uh, without pressing any buttons you can just play the music you know um, but there are other features to this program which is what makes it fun to use um, so the first thing you'll probably want to do is you'll see the green play button you'll be like ooh want to press the button so you press the button and it's going to play the song for you and you'll see the cursor follow the notes and it'll highlight the measure you're in and you hear the fun background music, it'll repeat. And then it'll go to the second ending. And the fun part about this song is you get a shout, hey, ready? Hey! That's fun. Trust me, it's fun. Um, and so you've listened to the song and what you heard while you were listening are three things. The first thing you probably notice is that there was a background track or an accompaniment track. And you can adjust the volume for that up here, and you can also turn it off if it's annoying. Uh, you also heard the sound of a trumpet playing the melody, which is called My Part. And you can slide that up or down and also turn it off if it's annoying. And then you also heard a metronome keeping the beat, which you can also adjust the volume of or turn off. Um, so once you've listened to it, you might be ready to start playing it. So you go ahead and you click play and you go nuts. Oh man, guys, that's, 
that's really fast. I, I can't play that fast. I, I'm, I, I couldn't keep up. Um, it's fine. Uh, if you notice, under the word accompaniment, there are some numbers here. This is the tempo for the song, which you can slow down, which that would be following your lesson teacher's instructions, because we've always told you when you practice something, start practicing slow and then gradually work up the speed. So you can either uh, select the number and type in your own tempo, or you can use the minus and plus signs to speed up and slow down. So um, probably want to start a little bit slower. Okay, so now the tempo will be slower. Okay, so now it's slower, but I can still tell that I'm not playing some notes right. So I know I was getting this note wrong right here. Gosh, what is that note? Um, I, I've tapped on the note, and then two buttons pop up. The button on the left will show you the name of the note, G sharp, and also the fingering. And then the button on the right will play the note for you. So you can check and make sure that you have the right sound. Always good to do. Um, and so now I figured out the right notes. I think I got the tempo down. I practiced it a little bit. I've played the dynamics, got the accents down. I got a good hearty, hey, going at the end of the song. I am ready to, uh, oh, and also, I've worked up the tempo so I can play it at least close to the 92 beats per minute that it was set at originally. And to reset it, if you forget what the original tempo was, just hit this reset button and it'll go back. So now I think I'm ready to record my assignment. Just a note, students, please do not send in a recording until you've practiced it to the point where it is as good as you can get it. Don't just practice it once or twice and say, eh, close enough and send it in. We want to hear the work that you've done. Um, okay, also, in the case of first or second ending, when you go to play or record something, make sure you have this one clicked so that um, it starts from the first time, not the second time. So, you're ready to record. You click the red circle. Um, if you are a wind, woodwind brass or are playing on a xylophone, select melodic. Um, if you're a percussionist uh, playing on a snare pad, um, you'll want to choose percussive through microphone. Uh, then you select this mode, and then it'll ask, it'll test your microphone. And so if you're wearing uh, earbuds, which I recommend you do if you have them, you don't need them, but I recommend you do, you unplug them. Um, and then make sure that your volume's up on your device. You click test your microphone. It'll play a sound and it'll set your microphone level. Then you can plug your headphones back in and play. Uh, but once again, you don't need your headphones. So once you click start, it's going to count the song off and, and get ready to play. So make sure you're ready to go before you hit start. Once you finish your recording, if you look up at the top of the screen, uh, it'll show you the percentage you got correct. And down here, it'll show you the green notes are the notes that you played right. The red notes are the ones that you played wrong. And I did this on purpose where I played the wrong note. Uh, I played a B flat set of B, a B natural. Um, and so you can check it and you can do another recording, which is what I'm going to do now. And this time I'll do it right. I hope. Before I send it in, I want, to, I want to listen to it. And make sure you like what you hear. Um, 
And so you can make multiple recordings and then you can choose the one that you like best and you click submit. And then you can make a comment on your submission. I love Minka Minka. Your teacher will see that. And then it's going to convert your recording into an MP3 and then it'll send it in. And then once it does that, you are done. Hooray! You've completed a smart music assignment. Um, congratulations. And that concludes this video. Hope you have fun with smart music. Um, I'll be back one more time to show you some other fun features you can use to explore the program.